India's antitrust laws and the Competition Commission's finding on Amazon and Flipkart explained. India's antitrust laws are designed to ensure fair competition, prevent monopolistic practices, and protect consumer interests. At the core of these laws is the Competition Act 2000, which replaced the Monopolies and Restrictive Trade Practices Act 1969. This act aims to curb practices that hinder competition, ensure a level playing field for all market participants, and foster a healthy marketplace. Its enforcement falls under the jurisdiction of the Competition Commission of India, CCI, the regulatory body responsible for investigating anti-competitive practices and promoting fair competition. In recent times, the CCI's investigations into e-commerce giants Amazon and Flipkart have drawn significant attention. Both platforms have been accused of violating India's antitrust laws by providing preferential treatment to select sellers, which has led to a range of concerns about their dominance and potential negative impacts on smaller sellers and competitors. So hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will break down the Competition Act key cases like Amazon and Flipkart and what these findings means for businesses and consumers in India. The evolution of antitrust laws in India. Let's start with a little historical background. Before the Competition Act 2000 came into effect, India was governed by the MRTP Act of 1969. This older law aimed to curb monopolies and ensure that businesses didn't engage in restrictive or unfair trade practices. However, by the 1990s, after India's shift towards liberalization, the economic reform, the MRTP Act, became outdated. The Indian economy was growing rapidly and the market was becoming more complex. There was a need for modern legislation that could handle the complexities of a free market. Enter the Competition Act 2000. This act sought to address the shortcomings of the MRTP Act and aim to promote competition, curb anti-competitive practices and protect consumer interests. It finally became fully operational in 2009, marking a major shift in how India regulated business competition. The Competition Commission focuses on three key areas. Number one, anti-competitive agreements, both horizontal and vertical. Number two, abuse of dominant position. And number three, combinations like mergers, acquisitions, and amalgamations. The Competition Act 2002, breaking it down. The Competition Act 2002 forms the backbone of India's antitrust regime and its objectives are clear. It aims to prevent practices that harm competition, promote market efficiency and promote consumer welfare. Number 1. Anti-competitive agreements. The Act prohibits agreements between companies that could harm competition. This applies to horizontal agreements, agreements between competitors and vertical agreements, agreements between businesses at different levels of the supply chain like manufacturers and distributors. Horizontal agreements. These include price fixing, market sharing or bid rigging among competitors. These agreements are considered inherently harmful to competition. Vertical agreements. These can include exclusive supply of distribution agreements or practices like resale, price maintenance, which are scrutinized based on their effects on competition. For instance, if two major competitors agree to fix prices or limit production to keep prices high, that's a clear anti-competitive agreement. Similarly, if a manufacturer dictates the price at which a retailer must sell its product, that could also be problematic. Number two, abuse of dominant position. The act also targets businesses that misuse their dominant market position to stifle competition. A company is considered dominant when it has enough market power to operate independently of competitive forces. Examples of abuse of dominance include predatory pricing where a dominant player sells products at such low prices that competitors are driven out of market, limiting production to raise prices or imposing unfair terms on consumer or suppliers. 
Number three, combinations, mergers and acquisitions. The Act ensures that mergers and acquisitions do not create monopolistic structures in the market. If a proposed combination crosses certain thresholds in terms of assets or turnover, it must be reviewed by the CCI to ensure that it doesn't harm competition. If a merger leads to a significant reduction in competition, the CCI can block it or impose conditions to preserve competitive market dynamics. The Competition Commission of India CCI powers and enforcement. The Competition Commission of India CCI plays a crucial role in enforcing the Competition Act. The CCI has wide-ranging powers to ensure that companies comply with the law. Let's take a closer look at what the CCI can do. Investigations The CCI can investigate anti-competitive practices based on complaints from consumers, businesses or even its own observations. It has the power to gather evidence, summon witnesses and conduct market studies. Penalties the CCI can impose significant fines on companies found guilty of anti-competitive practices or abuse of dominance. Penalties can be as high as 10% of the company's turnover over the last three years. Mergers and Acquisitions The CCI reviews mergers and acquisitions to ensure they do not harm competition. Companies that are merging or acquiring large competitors need to get approval from the CCI if they cross a certain financial threshold. The Amazon and Flipkart antitrust investigations. Now let's talk about the recent CCI investigations against Amazon and Flipkart. The CCI has accused both companies of violating competition laws by giving preferential treatment to select sellers leading to an anti-competitive ecosystem. These findings have significant implications for India's growing e-commerce sector. Number 1. Preferred Sellers The investigation revealed that Amazon had 6 preferred sellers while Flipkart had 33. These sellers received special treatment including access to marketing and warehousing services at highly subsidized rates. The platform used their foreign investments to provide these benefits, creating an unfair advantage for these select sellers. The CCI's investigation concluded that such practices create a marketplace where no other seller could survive outside of the preferred circle. Number 2. Preferential Lists both Amazon and Flipkart were found to favor their preferred sellers by displaying their products at the top of search results. This gave the preferred sellers more visibility and hurt smaller independent sellers who couldn't compete for attention on these platforms. Number 3. Exclusive Product Launches the CCI found that both platforms had entered into exclusive deals with smartphone and technology companies, allowing them to launch products exclusively on Amazon or Flipkart. Brands like Samsung, Xiaomi, Motorola, Realme and OnePlus were found to be part of this ecosystem. These exclusive deals made it harder for smaller retailers to compete as they were excluded from selling these in-demand products. Landmark Antitrust Cases in India India has seen more notable antitrust cases that have shaped its competition law landscape. Number 1. DLF Limited Case In 2011, real estate giant DLF was fined Rs 630 crore by the CCI for imposing unfair terms in agreements with apartment buyers. This was one of the largest penalties imposed by the CCI at the time. Number 2. Google Case In 2018, Google was fined Rs 136 crore for abusing its dominant position in online search and advertising markets. Google had been favoring its own services over competitors in search results, a clear violation of competition law. Number 3. BCCI case. 
the board of control for cricket in india bcci was fined rupees 52 crore in 2013 for abusing its dominant position by restricting competition in the broadcasting of ipl matches challenges and future of antitrust enforcement in india while india's antitrust laws are quite strong there are some challenges in enforcement delays in litigation lack of awareness among smaller businesses and the rise of digital markets pose unique challenges for the cci however proposed amendments in the competition amendment bill 2022 seek to streamline processes and improve the effectiveness of the cci conclusion India's antitrust framework driven by the Competition Act 2002 has come a long way since the days of the MRTP Act the CCI has been instrumental in keeping markets competitive and ensuring consumer welfare however as markets evolve particularly in the digital age continuous efforts will be needed to adapt India's competition laws to new challenges the cases involving amazon and flipkart serve as a reminder that even large corporations must operate within the bounds of fair competition don't forget to like comment and subscribe to stay updated on more deep dives into business laws and market dynamics